In the e-block today, if you'd like to take part in this year's Laugh Fest, you can now register to take part in all the fun. This year's Laugh Fest will be held virtually, and you can sign up for the Kids Joke Time Virtual Showcase, the Seriously Funny Adventure Challenge, and the Laughter RX Symposium. Just visit laughfestgr.org for more information. It's going to run through from March 11th through the 14th, and the headliners will be announced later this week. The Boss is teaming up with former Commander-in-Chief Bruce Springsteen and former President Barack Obama have teamed up to launch a podcast series called Renegades Born in the USA. The eight-episode podcast will see the pair in deep and revealing conversations with each other, exploring a wide array, array of topics. And Obama and Springsteen actually first met on the campaign trail back in 2008. February is Black History Month, and Entertainment Tonight is honoring the directors and actors who have made Hollywood history. Kevin Frazier has the story. Hey, Kevin. Kirk, tonight Oprah is in tears on the show about the man who helped change her life, Mr. Sidney Poitier. But first, let's talk about another Oprah moment. The 2014 movie Selma, which recreated a pivotal moment in the civil rights movement, and Oprah teamed up with visionary director Ava DuVernay. I got a new world in my view. This film is about a march, a, a, a campaign that was enacted through marching. They walked knowing they may not get back home. In 1965, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. led a peaceful march from Selma to Montgomery, Alabama in the fight for equal voting rights. When the protesters crossed the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma, they were beaten by state troopers. When you as an actor are, uh, I'm so sorry, uh, coming there as someone who didn't experience it, they experienced it, you're on that bridge, it's, it's no longer a film. I saw it in a way that I hadn't seen it before. In 2015, Oprah helped organize a march on Martin Luther King Jr. Day to mark the 50th anniversary of the protest. Nichelle marched alongside, proud to be a part of the historic moment. You want to recognize that you're actually walking in the footsteps of people who come before you? They say stay down and we stand up. We want to see real change for Selma, for this nation. It's amazing that a film has this power. And tune into ET tonight for our Oprah exclusive honoring trailblazer Sidney Poitier, and we will have so many more Black History Month tributes, including Spike Lee, Viola Davis, Lena Horne, Cicely Tyson, and Lee Daniels. Don't miss it. For Entertainment Tonight, I'm Kevin Frazier. And that is your Monday e block. Have a great night.